Thank God I found you. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Built with perhaps some of the best VR support we've seen so far, Resident Evil 7 is now repurposed for 4K TVs, thanks to updates on PS4 Pro and more recently, X Plus One X. Now Capcom targets 1080p on the regular versions of these two consoles, but with that original VR push in mind, 60 frames per second is also a prerequisite. Even after many patches though, a standard X Plus One machine still struggles to hit that number instead wavering in the 40 to 60 FPS range. Fortunately, Xbox One X has now come to the rescue, with a patch that hits two birds with one stone, at once pushing a vastly higher resolution while also smoothing out that performance. But in the final tally, how does it hold up against its direct rival, the PS4 Pro? Okay, so let's talk numbers. The fact is Resident Evil 7 is a notoriously difficult game to pixel count. That found footage style with depth of field, film grain, chromatic aberration and other distortion effects deliberately degrades the image for cinematic effect. As a result, the pure resolution metrics aren't just harder to nail down. The visible divide between consoles is that much more hidden. Now, in our original analysis of the PS4 Pro, we had Sony's enhanced console down as 2240 by 1260, a reasonable bump over the standard PS4 with enhancements in lighting as well. Since then, we've heard reports of a different number being used on Pro's 4K output mode. YouTube channel VG Tech, in particular, dissected the most recent patch 1.06 on PS4 Pro to find a 3200 by 1800 native resolution, an 1800p figure that's much higher than the original, though with a suggestion there of checkerboard rendering. The stats hold up too. My tests also flag a 3200 by 1800 resolution, though there is a big question mark still over the use of checkerboard rendering here. The fact is, the stippling artifacts you'd associate with this technique are very well hidden, behind the game's waves of post effects. In motion, the signs just aren't there, but it would explain how such a jump from 1260p is possible if true. Checkerboarding or not, the good news is PS4 Pro's results are visibly upgraded next to a regular PS4's 1080p, and it's a great service to 4K TV users. But the real attraction today is that Xbox One X support. Using a similar test, the X machine has an even higher target, pixel counts coming in at the full 3840 by 2160. This 2160p is again obscured by a thick post-process pipeline, but there's no question, the raw frame buffer is higher than Pro's. And much like Sony's console, there is that chance Capcom is using checkerboard rendering to hit that number but the evidence of it in motion is minimal. Again, it's really to the developer's credit that any wire work to keep these resolutions this high is effectively hidden. It's the 1800p on Pro against the 2160p on Xbox One X then, except there is a catch. Anti-aliasing differs hugely between the two, and that seems to have a much bigger impact than the base resolution. Running side-by-side -side comparisons really is the final litmus test here, and in motion, each console has pros and cons. Xbox One X, for example, offers the cleanest image on console by far. Check out this interior shot as we drive up through the woods. This edge is rough on Pro, but completely smoothed over on Xbox One X. This applies across the game as a whole, and PS4 Pro does produce more shimmer and visual noise, especially in busy areas like this opening forest. All signs point to Microsoft's machine running equivalent to the FXAA plus TAA mode used on PC. It's extremely thorough, but judging by the ghosting artifacts behind moving edges, PS4 Pro also appears to have a temporal component. The downside to Xbox One X? Well, despite the higher base pixel count, the image as a whole is a touch blurrier than PS4 Pro's. Check out the trees overhead as we pass through this shot. Sony's machine no doubt puts in sharper results, with details in between leaves still coming across in crisp detail. The X, by comparison, presents that tree mass as thicker, fuller, but missing any fine detail between branches. There's no doubt Xbox One X gives a more pristine result overall, and shimmer is reduced, but its anti-aliasing approach is clearly a double-edged sword. That applies across the game, even for interiors. Pulling the fridge open, for example, the specular component to the texture at the bottom here is dulled on Xbox One X. It's another sign of that overbearing AA solution, and a reminder that the native resolution of any game is only one aspect of the package. It's quite another matter how that visual data is presented, how it's then filtered through post-process effects and then scaled to the TV at the other end. Regardless of the 1800p versus 1260p contest, it ultimately boils down to a choice between X's clean but softer image, or the sharp but visually noisy output on PS4 Pro. There are a few other differences to factor in. 
Fortunately, texture resolution, filtering quality, and even draw distance are identical between Pro and Xbox One X. The one area that is visibly improved on X hardware is in shadows. From that very first shot, PS4 Pro suffers from more stippling on dynamic shadow edges, whereas Microsoft's machine produces a clean outline all the way through. In fairness, it's not something you'd notice outside of scenes in broad daylight, but it is a plus for X owners nevertheless. One other curiosity is this strange banding effect in the sky. It's something only the Xbox One and X machines suffer from, while PS4 and Pro present it normally. This kicks in when the exposure of the camera adjusts too aggressively. A glitch perhaps, but not one you're likely to see. A push to 4K with upgraded shadows is the real attention grabber here though. But there's another major boon for the Xbox One camp. Performance is also near perfect at 60 frames per second. The best comparison point for this really is the base Xbox One, seeing as the PS4 Pro version runs at a smooth 60fps already. Xbox One X has everything to prove, next to the low 50fps reading you get on a base Xbox as you turn through these woodlands. You get an absolute low of around 40fps in a later garage scene, but for the most part it hovers at 50, even once the horror show really kicks off inside the house. The enhanced console has none of that. Even with its resolution boost, Xbox One X runs beautifully at 60fps. As items on a wishlist go, getting the base console's performance fixed is high up there. All testing here is conducted on the latest 1.05 patch for each Xbox One machine, so sadly this is still the result for base machine users. Since it is hovering at 50fps, you have to wonder what else Capcom could have done to salvage a proper 60hz experience. Between each scene, drops are frequent enough to stand out. In theory, lowering the Xbox One resolution to the more popular 900p could have taken the edge off on the GPU side, or even sliding the shadow setting down another notch. All that's working on the understanding of PC's most taxing settings, but as it stands a year on from release, we're still at the same frame rate here. But, of course, Xbox One X pulls it all off at 60fps, which is great, though it's not invincible. The final explosive scene is the biggest stress test I've found so far, and while it triggers drops well under 50fps on base hardware, the worst you'll see is a quick hit to the mid-50s on X, so not bad at all. Flash to a comparison between PS4 Pro and Xbox One X in the same spot, and clearly Sony's machine has a slight edge. But bearing in mind, this is the only spot I've seen so far with any kind of drop on X hardware, we can consider the patch a success. That about wraps up my findings for today though. Neither of the enhanced consoles let themselves down when it comes to 4K support, and hopefully you found this comparison interesting or insightful. If you did, let me know with a like or subscribe on the video to support what we do. Otherwise, for the best viewing experience possible, there's a source file to this analysis at our Patreon at digitalfoundry.net. But until next time, thanks for watching.